kind of rotate their positions around a little bit. High count on the sniper. Another hero that's good at pressuring mid as well. Like if I, yeah. you throw, he'll be able to kill Ivan too easily. But Nikwa, he's going to go down in the top lane, it looks like. Power Cogs come out, but that Fissure blocking him out. Cogs not going to keep him safe from all that range damage, and it will be the Skyrat who gets the bonus gold. A little bit behind him in terms of experience. We've seen this with offlaners where hitting level 6 is kind of the goal. You know, like your tie hunters, what have you, and Nikwa just wants to start moving around with that hook shot. And sometimes it's worth it, it's worth the trade off of an early death if you can get the XP. But well, now we're getting into that scary territory, LD. This will be your second death and another successful gank. This time, Troll gets credited. With the they, they drafted Space Cow, but the Earthshaker's the <laughs> he's the intergalactic haste cow. Is now they've seen that hero top lane, so they know that they can go in a little more aggressively mid. Pycat committed on the QW has to be careful not to get pulled here at the last second. He will end up surviving barely at that. As he retreats to the north, he's got another Shrap now. If he can manage to heal up here, he might even be able to turn on Arzik and get another kill. He is low though, but if he just tries to walk away, I don't know if he makes it out of here. Coming in is the Scarath Mage, Pycat, scurrying here and there, but, but Enigma there's no is on the way. Is there a turnaround? Nope, Enigma says, eh, it's a little deep for my taste. I'm just going to go leech mid while, uh, while you get killed there, Pycat. Good try, but... Yeah. Some sort of like nope. comeback farm nope. prepared. Nope. This lineup, the, no. <laughs> they're really just throwing this this poor storm spirit to the wall. He wants to get level six. Now no. the TP comes out, but it's not going to happen for QW. He may even go down here if he's not careful. Oh, the charge coming in. This might be the opportunity. They try to bait in, but no, they lose the prize troll who's been free farming top lane all game. And now the chase is on. Our Zeke going to be next on the list. A double kill for that sniper Reno. They're not done just yet, Andrew. It's nighttime. Loda's going hunting. He sees QW. He knows he's not six and says, this is a dead storm. No TP. Empty bottom. You are not getting away from me unless I get completely juiced. Loda rolling the dice here. Rocket Flare flying overhead. They see him and he goes down to the wrath of Loda. Ivan will survive. He plays him in the mid lane, but he's here once. Nikwa, also level 6 uh, in the off lane for Alliance. He will get charged behind the tower. Four heroes on Oh, they should not be diving him this far. This could go very poorly for them. Here comes the darkness. Darkest Another TP in. It'll be the Witch Doctor. Ivan, at the very least, will be a casualty of war here. Cogs pushing him away, but it doesn't matter. That disabled time is all they need. Oh, I think they're chasing them. Oh, no. Vega, they just hung around too long here. LZ, they get the kill on the clockwork, but now it'll cost them their Skyrat. Probably their Shaker, too. With darkness on, though, they can just keep on going. It's a one for three. Clockwork will be happy to play the Sacrificial Lamb if they can get trades like that. Yeah, Alliance doing a really good danger zone. I think they could have cut their losses sooner. Like you just realize, okay, Spearbreaker's dead, and everyone just runs away. But they tried to save him, and ends up costing three deaths. It feels like at this point, this game may just be snowballing a bit. Hook shot onto no one. Nikwa going in solo. That was a little bit bold, but TPs will be here. Sniper trying to clean it up. Clockwork. He saw it happen up top. Says, "Let's do it again." There's one kill, one for one. Now they lose the sniper though. I'm not sure if this is what Alliance had in mind. Ake, okay, he'll get left behind. Also, Voodoo Restoration on. It won't be enough. And it's a one for three, but this time the other way. Vegas Squadron get a nice little bump. Oh, man. Unfraud with the rest of Alliance. And here goes the Zip. They're going to try to jump on the pie cap, but backup's inbound. And Nick was there with a point blank hook shot. Fissure to break it up. Mystic Flare follows up, but split across the two. Meg will pick him right back up. Black hole on three. Matt on the high ground. They walk right into it. High cat doing as much damage as he can. There's your death ward. Jump from our Zeke will do next to nothing. Fast three for nil as the BKBs are shown off. A triple for Ake. Compliments of that death ward. And now Renator. He'll try to TP out. And yeah, that's not going to work out. Birdman get put down. Four for nil. Alliance with a huge TP. Wow, that was a... Three heroes on the absolute edge of the black hole and pulled them all in. That was Even Alliance wasn't quite ready for it. They like, survived the duration of the black hole for the most part. They're like, whoa, whoa, all right, that's uh, that's the money hole right there. I can't just started all going laying into them and then he's like, all right, all right, I'm feeling this. I got this. I like this. You can tell Ake wasn't ready for it either. The death ward was a little bit delayed. It came out maybe halfway through the black hole. Those are just the kind of opportunities that you're not used to coming by. For I mean, this this goes back to just everyone being tanky. Like he he could the start. Well, we're not done yet. They're gonna charge. In here, but Cogs are waiting. Push back Ivan. Oh, Ivan. Ivan just getting wrecked. Nico doing a really nice job here on the clockwork. But he buys back. Ivan's hungry for vengeance here. They yeah. really want the melee barracks. They'll get it. Sniper on the low ground. Charge out of the base. Oh, Ivan. 
This is bold. Is it too bold? Yes, it is. He'll cancel it and head back to the high ground. But Lone doesn't want to let him get there. Scott Free, hook shot in right onto Renator. Nikwa again making the plays happen. Skyrath Mage gets brought down. Storm zipping all over the place, but then he'll basically just empty out his mana pool. They mech up. The Voodoo Restoration. Look at Alliance. Look at this sustainability. LD Earn charges out on the Lona. They're all back in full health as they continue to siege the base. Don't go home. There's, there's no reason to. And they're going to lose another one here. The troll. He dared to leave the tier cords. He dared to leave the fountain. He'll be punished for it, it looks like. Though they may lose a few heroes on the chase. No one's going to go down, but... The four stabs! Neek was still alive! In comes Ivan. He does get the kill on Clockwork, but it'll cost the Storm Spirit his life. No buyback. Now comes Zipping on in. They've still only killed one. Now, Storm, I don't know about this play. Okay, he's got some teammates up oh, now. Yeah, the GG's come out. Yeah, yeah, the tunnel mission arrow. He got, like, he jumped back to the base. And, yeah, okay. Well... All right, I, I was trying to really fight for Vega. I was like, they still have a chance, LD. Don't tap out too. Come on, guys. Don't uh, be foolish. You can well, turn this one around. Wah, wah, wah. Get that 30-minute bloodstone. You'll be right back at it. Well, Alliance showed up to play today, LD. That is for damn sure. They look pretty.